So I'm just giving a little disclaimer here at the beginning of the video. This specific plans and set of keys may take you multiple server hops to get your hands on. The reason for this is that someone may have gotten their hands on the plans slash keys on the server you're on already, aka why you have to server hop multiple times until they're there. With that said, let's hop into the first step. So for the first step, we're going to be heading to the Nuka Cola plant and we're going to be grabbing a key card there. So once you head through the front door, you're going to be looking for a bathroom door. Sometimes it's locked, sometimes it isn't. It really depends if someone was there or not. And you're going to go ahead and pick up the key card on the floor. For step number two, we're going to make our way to Tanagra Town. You're going to go ahead and climb all the way up it until you make it to the house section. Once you make it inside the house, you want to get to the top floor and jump on one of the little edges in the house. It is recommended that you either have a jetpack or have the marsupial mutation to make this easier. This is where you will find key card number two. For step three, we're going to be heading over to the crash plane and getting our hands on the Nuka Cola access code. Let it be known in most of the areas that we visit in this video, they might be filled with enemies, so watch out for that. For step four, you want to head to the Ingram Mansion. Here you will find a terminal that generates a one-time key. Now remember, this is a one-time key for the user, meaning that the key that I have will not be the same for you or anyone else. The key is a one-time key for you only. Remember to write this key down somewhere. For step five, we're going to be going to the Overlook Cabin and using the two key cards in the basement. After you use the key cards, a door should open behind you and in this room, this is where you type in your one time key. After you type in your code, another door should open and in that room should be the keys for TNT Dome 7. Now remember that disclaimer I had at the beginning of the video, this is where this can come into effect because sometimes the keys will not be on the pedestal. So if they're not there, this does mean you have to server hop and do everything all over again. So for the final step, you're going to head to Black Mountain Ordnance and open up the door for TNT Dome 7. Inside that room, the plan should be laying on the table, but if they're not, don't worry, I have some ways to remedy this at the end. So the first couple of times I did this, the uh, plans didn't spawn and the keys didn't spawn. So I'm assuming someone else on that server got them. So all you gotta do is once you get your hands on the keys, just server hop and go to Black Ordinance multiple times until the plans are there. It only took me like two server hops and then the plans were just chilling there. Sometimes the door is even open without the key and the plans are there. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. Make sure to like and subscribe because I do have more plans for videos like this in the future. And I really like the quantum armor. It's really cool. It's a nice paint job, but I think I'm gonna stick with the Blackbird.